students, in our last video, we already learned about accounting equation using the net solution case. However, this format accounting equation is not efficient or practical for companies that have to record thousands or millions of transactions daily. As a result, accounting systems are designed to show the increases and decreases in each accounting equation element as a spare record. This record is called an account. And now we are learning analyze your transaction using and starting the account. An account in its simple form has three parts. A title, which is the name of the accounting equation element recorded in the account. A space for recording increases in the amount of the element. A space for recording decreases in the amount of the element. The account form that follow is called a T account because it resembles the letter T. The left side of the account is called the debit side and the right side is called the credit side. In our last video, we already learned about how to analyze a transaction using equation and this is the summary from transaction A until H. From this illustration, the receipt or increase in cash of $25,000 in transaction A is entered on the debit or left side of the cash account. The letter or date of the transaction is also entered into the account. That way, if any questions later arise related to the entry, the entry can be traced back to the underlying transaction data. In contrast, the payment or decrease in cash of $20,000 to purchase land in transaction B is entered on the credit right side of the account. Recording transaction in accounts must follow certain rules. For example, in increases in assets are recorded on the debit or left side of an account. Likewise, decreases in assets are recorded on the credit right side of an account. The excess of the debits of an asset account over its credits is the balance of the account. The balance of the cash account is inserted in the account in the debit column. In this way, the balance is identified as a debit balance. This balance represents net solutions cash on hand as of November 30, 2018. The balance of the cash account of five thousand and nine hundred dollars is the excess of the debits over the credits computed as follows debits thirty two thousand and five hundred dollars less credits twenty six thousand and nine hundred dollars so balance of cash as of november 30 2080 is five thousand and nine hundred dollars in an actual accounting system, a more formal account form replaces the T account. Later in this chapter, a four-column account is illustrated. The T account, however, is a simple way to illustrate the effects of transactions on accounts and financial statements. For this reason, T accounts are often used in business to explain transactions. Chart of accounts A group of accounts for a business entity is called a ledger. A list of the accounts in the ledger is called a chart of accounts. The accounts are normally listed in the order in which they appear in the financial statements. The balance sheet accounts are listed first in the order of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. The income statements accounts are then listed in the order of revenues and expenses. Assets Assets are resources owned by the business entity. These resources can be physical items, such as cash and supplies, or intangibles that have value. Examples of intangible assets include patent rights, copyrights, and trademarks. Assets also include account receivable, prepaid expenses such as insurance, buildings, equipment, and land. Liabilities Liabilities are debts owed to outsiders or creditors. Liabilities are often identified on the balance sheet by titles that include payable. Examples of liabilities include accounts payable, notes payable, and wages payable. Cash received before services are delivered creates a liability to perform the services. These future service commitments are called unearned revenues. 
Examples of unearned revenues include magazine subscriptions received by a publisher and tuition received at the beginning of a term by a college. Owner's Equity Owner's equity is the owner's right to the assets of the business after all liabilities have been paid. For a proprietorship, the owner's equity is represented by the balance of the owner's capital account. A drawing account represents the amount of withdrawals made by the owner. Revenues Revenues are increases in assets and owner's equity as a result of selling services or products to customers. Examples of revenues include fees earned, fares earned, commission revenue, and rent revenue. Expenses Expenses result from using up assets or consuming services in the process of generating revenues. Examples of expenses include wages expense, rent expense, utilities expense, surplus expense, and miscellaneous expense. Chart of accounts A chart of accounts should meet the needs of company's managers and other users of its financial statements. The accounts within the chart of accounts are numbered for use as references. A numbering system is normally used so that new accounts can be added without affecting other account numbers. This illustration shows us the two digits of chart of accounts. The first digit indicates the major account group of the ledger in which the account is located. Accounts beginning with 1 represent assets. 2. Liabilities 3. Owner's equity 4. Revenue and 5. Expenses The second digit indicates the location of the account within its group. Double Entry Accounting System All businesses use what is called the Double Entry Accounting System. The system is based on the accounting equation and requires that every business transaction to be recorded in at least two accounts, the total debits recorded for each transaction to be equal to the total credits recorded. The double entry accounting system also has specific rules of debit and credit for recording transactions in the accounts. Balance sheets accounts The debit and credit rules for balance sheet accounts are as follows. Assets accounts, debit for increases, credit for decreases. Liabilities accounts, debit for decreases, credit for increases. Owners equity accounts, debit for decreases, credit for increases. Income statement accounts, the debit and credit rules for income statement accounts are based on their relationship with owners equity. As shown for balance sheet accounts, owner's equity accounts are increased by credits. Because revenue increases owner's equity, revenue accounts are increased by credits and decreased by debits. Because owner's equity accounts are decreased by debits, expense accounts are increased by debits and decreased by credits. Owner withdrawals the debit and credit rules for recording owner withdrawals are based on the effect of owner withdrawals on owner's equity. Because an owner's withdrawals decrease owner's equity, the owner's drawing account is increased by debits. Likewise, the owner's drawing account is decreased by credits. Thus, the rules of debit and credit for the owner's drawing account are as shown in this slide. Normal balances the sum of the increases in an account is usually equal to or greater than the sum of the decreases in the account. Thus, the normal balance of an account is either a debit or credit depending on whether increases in the account are recorded as debits or credits. For example, because asset accounts are increased with debits, asset accounts normally have debit balances. Likewise, liability accounts normally have credit balances. The rules of debit and credit and the normal balance of the various types of accounts are summarized in these graphics. Well, students, you already learned about accounts, chart of account, the normal balances, and the position debit and credit in each account. Please do more exercise so you will be more understand about this topic. Bye!